on everybody the dj tuck master here to give you another video and this video is all about the xbox one being better than the ps4 and it's got more power than the ps4 as far as i'm concerned but now before i start today's video i do want to get to this news right quick go to m for g there's an article on m for g talking about this one guy talking about people's getting fed up with the ps4 and they're thinking about switching over to the xb1 and I want you to, and I want you to read it because it's a pretty, little, pretty good little article. I think everybody's getting kind of fed up with with, with Sony, with this, uh, with you know they ain't coming out with no with no good AAA games and all and all that stuff. I think a lot of people getting fed up with it. Um, but the the, the the nice article what they they put side by side the gold the the plus the Sony plus games that for free. One against the XB1 Gold Gate for free, and that's a real good comparison. I mean, it is it's not even close. Um, the XB1 just just drowns it with its backwards compatibility list all by itself, and that's kudos to Microsoft. But now let's go ahead and get on today's video. And this video is all about um, about what I said. Um, the XB1 is a more powerful console than the PS4. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. Graphics, you know, just draw them out the water on both of them. They both look the same. They both look good. And they both look the same. And that's good. You know, that's all it is to it. Uh, you might have a uh, resolution. Don't make, no, don't, make, don't make nothing on neither one of these dug on video on, on any of these video games. So, let's just get the resolution out the water. Right? Okay, that's the only thing that Sony try to hold on to but they can't hold on to that no more <laughs> okay now uh this is the reason why i am saying that the xb1 is more powerful than the ps4 because of everything that you can do to the system you can you can cut the system you can turn the X, xb1 on and off um you can um what else can you do you have all these um all these snap features on the XB1 that you can tell the XB1 to go to. Um, you got EA Access. You got the backwards compatibility list. Now you got a 16 man. You got a 16 man party chat on this system. And plus, you know, the XB1 is always is always pushing the envelope for this system. They always put new stuff on this system month after month after month. Whereas the PS4, you don't see it. Hear about it, you hear about it, you hear about something, but you really don't, you really don't see what's going on with it. So, um, so more like of the last of um, of that is concerned, the XB1 is by hand down more powerful than the PS4, hands down. Um, it's just that you can just see much more. You can just you can just do much more on the PS4. I mean, you can just do so much on the XB1 that you can do on the PS4 right now. Um, if PS4 might try to get to that to that level, I don't know. But I know one thing: they always trying to copy off of um, off the Xbox, no matter what they try to do, and uh, and it's always failing them. I mean, now I'm hearing that they're gonna try to do a preview program for their for their uh, for their for the PSP for the PS4 people. Which is nice and dandy, but I don't think it's gonna be good as the XB One's preview program. And and I'm gonna tell you right now. And if this thing right here, you know, this survey that Xbox did the other day, where they would, you know, I don't know if it's really sure gonna come or not, but that'd be very interesting if the XB One did, if Microsoft did do that, if they decide that they want to buy back some digital games from people, if they did that, that would just be doom and gloom for Sony because uh, Sony's not going to do it. I know that they won't because that's how that's that's chicken shit for them. But Microsoft got the money; they don't. So you know that's either here or there. Uh, if they decide to do that, I might do some games. I'm going to do all of my games, but all the games like all the exclusive games I want to do. But I do like basketball, football, something like that. You know, seasonal games that I know that I'm not going to you know give a hoop out. For the next season, so I might do it for that. But outside of that, no. Uh, but as far as this 
like I said, fellas, as far as this VR thing is concerned and all that stuff, I'm hoping for Sony that it does work because I know Sony wants it to work. But in the long run, I don't think it will because, like I said, if God meant things to be on your eyes that close, he would have made them there for you. It would have been there from the get-go. It wouldn't be none of this. You know, you got people that got glasses. They, they get nauseated off their glasses and all this. They have to get the right contact with their glasses. So what makes you think that this VR thing is, is not going to mess with people's eyes? It's going to mess with people's eyes. I mean, especially if you got people that pays it all the dog on time. Like you got some nuts that will. And then before you know it, they'll be having an and Then all of a sudden they're trying to sue Sony and all of them. Oh, I got eye from Gunther Tony. No, you no no you don't you don't got eye Trump. You got eye Trump because of Biden. Period. Stupid. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I would never ever buy VR. VR. Um, I might try it, but I would never buy it per se myself because I know my eyes it means everything to me, and I do and I do know if things are that close upon your eyes. It will it will make your it will make your your vision blurry at the well. Bottom line, hands down. Um, but as of right now, you know the only the only reason why I'm really making this video because I get so tired of people talking about PS4 got more power. Please, people, get off that stuff. Get off that seven p that seven twenty p. Get off that 60 frames per second mess. Okay? Damn, just enjoy your video games. Just enjoy your damn video games and get off that resolution bullshit, man. Resolution don't make games. Developers make games. So, you know, I'm going to play like this. Okay, Spider-Man. Spider-Man 1080p on both systems. But was that good? No, that game was bad. And, and why was it bad? It wasn't bad because of the resolution. It was because it was bad because of the game development didn't give a damn. So let's just put that in order, man. So as of right now, this DJ Tug Master, I'm signing off. Y'all have a nice day. All my ex audience. And uh, like I said, big game of small talk. Uh, give you know, give Microsoft their crudos. Just tell them straight up. That the XB1 is a more powerful system than the PS4. Uh, we ain't talking about we talking about an overall machine. We ain't talking about graphics. We talking about an overall machine. Okay? And I'll talk to you later. Bye. You actually found it. The founders of Katesh were skilled craftsmen. They used this place to view the Atlas.